Hey everybody, Brickhouse here with another video on a Friday, TGIF, ready for the weekend, ready for my vacation. Now, in the words of the immortal Hawk Harrelson, and those of you that are White Sox fans will know what I'm about to say, he gone. That's right, Norby Williamson of ESPN, well... Should I say Norby Williamson, no longer of ESPN? Uh, he's been shown the door. Now, if you guys remember a couple months back, uh, Pat McAfee, you know, he's the new face of ESPN. He's got a lot of stroke. He's got a lot of power. He's got the ear of the upper ups. And when I say ear of the upper ups, I'm talking all the way to the top. I'm talking Bob Iger. Not just uh, the upper ups at the network. Well, a couple months back, he just kind of put it out there that somebody was sabotaging his show. That somebody didn't want him there. And he said that there was a rat. And then he named the rat. That rat being one Norby Williamson. Now, that little spark uh, started a little power struggle within ESPN. And guess who came out on top? Pat McAfee. <laughs> Now, I like Pat. I like that he's bomb bombastic. He's boisterous. He's not afraid to share his opinion. Just like some would say, I'm not ashamed, afraid, afraid to share mine, especially on this platform. Well, I do have to watch what I say a little bit on this platform. But, uh, yeah, Norby's out. And that's effective immediately. And, and the guy's been around ESPN for 40 years. I mean, that's, you know, 1984 when the network was only five years old is when he started. But the problem is when you have somebody around for that long, and I'm pulling some of this from OutKick, when you've been around for that long, you're kind of set in your ways. And according to the article here, which is brilliantly done by David Hookstead, the main problem was that Williamson did not share a vision that aligned with ESPN's long-term strategy and that president of ESPN content, Burke Magnus, who is a supporter of Pat McAfee, made the decision to part ways with the seasoned executive. Williamson was due to stay with the network through 2027 Super Bowl. Well, <laughs> Uh, he's not. And according to David Hookstead, only one way to interpret this situation, that is Pat McAfee won in a blowout. I mean, think of it. ESPN pulled off bringing the Pat McAfee show under their umbrella. They, they got him away from FanDuel, who was a big part of his show. And, and they're still letting him do his show the way he's always done it. Well, for the most part, not as much swearing as there was before, even though there's a little bit still. Um, so there you have it. A little shakeup at ESPN. Pat McAfee comes out the winner, smelling like a rose. Norby Williamson. Don't let the door hit you where the good Lord split you. So take of it as you will. Um, just thought I'd throw this one out there because anything that Pat McAfee does is a big deal. And this says ESPN, which is part of Disney, so it's worth reporting on. But what do you guys think about this? Do you think Pat's got too much stroke? Comment down below. While you're at it, take the time to smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Hit that notification bell so you don't miss a video. And as always, thank you for watching. Thank you for tuning in. I greatly appreciate it because that's what gets my videos promoted here on the platform is the more people that watch and tune in. Um, 
It just helps out. And with that, I will see you guys later.